Kind of the days, but we're getting after it, competing really hard, um, fighting for position, so everything's going well. Can you uh, explain collectively how hungry you and other guys are, are on this team to get an opportunity to play a lot more than they did last year? So many new starters. I'm sure for you guys, you think that's a good thing. Yeah, we're all hungry, and you can tell watching the film every day in practice, everyone's going hard. Um, there's no lows. The effort's high, high expectations, as Coach Brown always says. Um, and another reason why is that because of competition. Competition brings out the best of all of us, and we're competing. A couple guys like uh, Hill and Long that got to play a little bit last year. Your thoughts on how they're doing so far? Uh, they're doing well. Um, everyone's doing well. Um, the, the safeties and corners are doing extremely well. So uh, we're just going to keep getting out there and competing for spots. What do you see out of the guys that, that got a taste of it last year? In what ways are they different? You could tell, especially the guys that came in in the spring, some of the guys that played in the games last year. You could tell that the game's starting to move just a little bit slow for us. So we're just trying to take every rep as we can, mental reps, physical reps, and uh, get better each day. Even though it was playing at linebacker, do you notice a difference in sort of the confidence that Josh Metellus has in that, you know, playing at safety just from that experience? Oh, yeah, definitely. He's doing really well. We trust each other, um, and that's the, that's the key. We've got to communicate back there and uh, just trust each other, and that's, that's really good. That's what me and Josh have been doing, so it's uh, working out really well right now. You got to see a bit of the, the young guys, obviously, in the spring. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamaric Woods and Jalen Kelly Powell, how they look so far this fall? They're getting even better, which is a really good thing. Um, you could tell that they came in the spring. It was a good thing they came in the spring because now they came in knowing the plays, knowing what they have to do. So now they're playing much faster in Coach Brown system as well. How do you react when people say Michigan lost too much to be playing at the level they did a year ago? What do you guys think inside the locker room? Well, yeah, people will say that because we did lose a lot. It's obvious, but um, the talent's still there. The system's still there. So I don't, I don't think we'll lose much. Terry, on, the, on that note, especially, you know, the secondary with Jordan, DeMonte, Delano, all those guys, I mean, is that, I mean, you did lose some, but the, yeah. you kind of just describe the athleticism, the level of talent there, elaborate a little bit more? I mean, yeah, well, they're all NFL type guys. Um, you know, a lot of them got drafted, drafted um, and we're just trying to fill that role. We're not trying to be like them. We're not trying to be better than them. We're just trying to come and do as best as we can to um, do what we're asked and uh, just play in the, the system that Coach Brown has us in and compete every single day and get ready. Do you look at yourself as a leader in that group? Say it again? Do you look at yourself as a leader in that group? Of course, um, being one of the older guys there, I feel like uh, I do need to take that leadership role. I feel like I've done a good job this camp. Um, as well as uh, Josh Metellus, he's been you know, uh, taking leadership. So is Brandon Watson, so is Keith Washington. Uh, Brandon Watson and Keith Washington as well too. You know, I, and I don't think it's just one of us that's leading. I mean, everyone, we're all together. We're all communicating together. You could tell everyone's talking, even the freshmen. So we all feel good together, trusting each other and competing. How much does it help you know, that when, uh, People say, oh, the front seven is, you know, we know that they're going to be solid, but, you know, there's question marks about the, the secondary because the guys haven't started. You talk about the front seven? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm oh, saying talking does it about bother you if, if, when you hear that, that the secondary might be a little bit of the question mark? No, it doesn't bother me. The talent's still there. I, I think we'll be good. We'll be just fine. How much having that second year in Don Brown's system, not only how much does that help you to be able to play faster, but how much does that help you being able to position guys in the secondary? Great. Um, I had two springs with Coach Brown. This is my second camp with him. Um, it's it's great, and I feel really comfortable. I'm, I'm good with my plays, I'm just trying to help the other guys and and be a better person I could be on the field. How much confidence do you take from Coach Brown knowing that he's been here, done here, done that before with lesser talented teams and now he's got talent even if it's young? I have extreme confidence in Coach Brown. He has extreme confidence in us because that's the way he coaches. You know, he sets a high expectation for us and that's the way we play. So we feel comfortable with each other. You know, he feels comfortable with us. We feel comfortable with his coaching style. From going against them, which receivers have impressed you, have given you a hard time in practice? Um, they're all doing good. They're all playing hard, fast. You know, they're they're in the same position as we are, competing for spots. Um, a lot of them, they're all playing hard. You know, you can just watch the film and you just see everywhere, every all eleven positions, they're all competing hard and everything's up in the air. What's the difference more between retired, you please. now and maybe you at the start of last season? What have you What have you learned? How have you gotten better? Um, I feel like I got faster, stronger. The game has slowed down for me. Like I said, being in Coach Brown's system. For two years, I uh, just feel comfortable everywhere I'm at in that defense and uh, feel like I could fly around faster. What have you done personally to kind of refine your leadership skills as well off the field? Um, just just take everything that I was learned with uh, Gerald Wilson, Delano Hill, and DeMonte Thomas. Just seeing how they worked, seeing how they competed in practice, seeing how they led in the meeting rooms, just taking 
just taking that style and, you know, just cheating from them, taking their uh, details and just trying to give it to the younger guys now. Of that group, was there anyone in particular who maybe impressed something in particular upon you? The older, as the older guys? Yeah. Um, yeah, all three of them equally. Um, even though I was only with Gerald, Gerald Wilson one year, he taught me so much. He took me under his wing, and uh, I'm grateful for that. And now I'm just trying to do it for others. Terry, that's been asked, but, uh, you know, you had... Uh, 30, 40 guys who had mm -hmm. game experience last season. You don't have that this year. Yeah. I know you're not using it as an excuse, but mm -hmm. do your practices change? Are they breaking down fundamentals more? Um, I guess anything different? I, I don't see a difference in practice because Coach Brown's always getting out there in practice. Okay. Um, he's always on top of us. Our position coach stay on top of us. and uh, I don't see a difference in practice. Um, I feel like the talent's still there, and we're just out there competing. Tyree, as, as far as it, I mean, secondary is concerned, Drake coming over from yeah. a wide receiver, uh, Jim was Jim was talking about him. I mean, Ben St. Juicy, young guy. I mean, some fam familiar faces, but also a little bit of newness. Can you describe that? Oh, it's great. Drake has came in. He's a good fit for us. Um, he's been playing really well, uh, just like the other younger guys. And, you know, Coach George and Coach Smith has been, have been on us, you know, um, preaching his technique. And so we're, we're ready. Ben St. Juice, how, how's he done so far? He's doing great. You can tell he's been, he's been playing some great ball. He's, you can tell where he's uh, improved from the spring. So. He's doing good. Appreciate it. Thanks, Harry.